Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Saturday. Welcome back to Ye Old Weekly Home Fragrance Roundup, the video that Alf and I like to upload most Saturdays here on our channel, where we talk about all of the uh, home fragrance that we were using over the course of the past week. If you're new here and you're wondering who Alf is, um, he is my trusty assistant. Now we are both wearing black today. You might not be able to see him, but maybe you can see his eyeballs. Oh yeah, there he is. <laughs> He kind of comes off on camera, right? <laughs> this is Alf or Alphonse. Um, he is my little black pug and he is just uh, my little bestie. Follows me around all day and um, he just makes my life a whole lot better. So um, he is in the background of most of these videos where I'm sitting on the floor and filming. So you'll probably hear some noises in the background, some snoring, some snorts, some sneezes. He might even fart for you guys, so I hope you're excited. Um, but that is where all of these noises are coming from, is from the little guy who uh, just enjoys his uh, afternoon nap when I film this video. So anyway, you guys, uh, we have so much to talk about today. Um, lots, lots of things to discuss. So this might be slightly a longer video. I hope you're into it. If not, that's fine too. Tune out whenever you want. But um, in the description box below this video, there's going to be a ton of links for you guys. I always mention this because I feel like sometimes people um, don't think to check there first. You, you might actually find your answer there faster than I can get back to you in the comments. So um, down there will be links to all of the stuff that I'm sharing here today. There's discount codes specifically for Homeworks and for Kringle. I also list the sales from the companies that are happening this weekend from you know everything that I'm sharing here. Um, yeah, just a, a plethora of information down there. So be sure to check that out. You'll also see Candle Crock and Candle Lamp 101. Um, those particular videos I think are helpful if you um, if you don't know what either of those two candle accessories are and you don't know how to use them. And today I just want to kind of also show you guys how I I actually show this in the video that I have linked, but. I feel like maybe some people haven't watched that. So I just want to explain how I get rid of each layer of wax that melts uh, with my candle lamps. Um, Cause yeah, there's been like an uptick in questions about specifically like what to do with the wax, like how do you pour it out? And so I'm just going to give you not like a, like a real demo, but I'm going to show you and tell you how I do it. So. Hopefully that's helpful if you just bought a lamp and you're like, what, what am I doing with this wax? So also down there is a video that shows what I do with like uh, some of the wax. Um, I mean, I don't reuse all of the wax that I don't necessarily uh, burn through, if you will. Um, I, I do reuse a lot of it in a few different ways. So if you're looking for some ideas, there's a video about that too. So, okay. Before we get into anything here, um, there is a special guest in the background that you are going to be hearing more about her right here, this, this fancy lady in the corner. Um, my collab, my Kringle Candle collab is just about ready to release. I know a lot of you are wanting like a date and a time. As of like right now when I'm filming this video, I don't have the date and the time. If I happen to get it before this video goes up, once again, I'll put it in the description box down below. Um, that's easiest for me to update. So um, yeah, I'll try to update that anyway, even if it releases like next week at some point, just in case someone is just coming across this video. So go check. Um, her name is Vintage Palmander, and you're gonna be hearing a little bit more about this particular candle in a dedicated video, which is kind of crazy because I'm going to be reviewing a scent that I actually, you know, kind of came up with. Well, kind of, I did. <laughs> and then Kringle was amazing enough. Uh, their perfumers just created exactly like, I sent them information and was like, here's the vibe I'm going for. Like, here's just kind of, you know, exactly what I'm looking for in the perfect holiday scent and they could not have executed it more beautifully. Um, this candle right now is just filling up this room. It's traveling out into the hallway and it just smells like, it just smells like heaven to me. <laughs> like This is what I've always wanted specifically in a pomander candle for myself. So I'm 
so thankful to all of you who are so excited about it and I promise you as soon as I can get you a date I will definitely um, I will definitely let you know over on Instagram if you're not following me it's just mr. Kong's mom I do have a reel um, and then in my stories there's also of the stories are going to be gone by the time that you get there but um i do have a reel where you can see a little bit better uh close up of the label i really love the label and there is a little bit not a little bit there is a story behind why i picked this particular label so but i'll discuss more in the video so thank you guys for all of your support i know you've been waiting a really long time it's just a really lengthy process to do something like this so um yeah anyway i'm i'm really excited <laughs> But uh, we will get to that at some point very soon. And in the meantime, let's talk about what I currently have underneath my candle lamps. I'm actually only using two candle lamps right now. I have a couple more upstairs that I, they're just turned off right now. Um, I should probably honestly put something underneath them so I can once again whittle down my excessive candle collection a little bit more quickly. But I've just been kind of lazy about it this month, to be totally honest. Um, so in the in my office right behind me here, I have a candle candle lamp and underneath that I have um the homeworks vanilla pine here's another vanilla pine that I'm this this one's here for the demo because I actually warmed this one a lot more frequently than the one in my office I actually had put them out both at the same time um one in the kitchen one in my office and um I was not turning the one in my office on as frequent I would just forget about it I wasn't turning it on as frequently, so I didn't get through that wax as fast as this one. But anyway, so the vanilla pine. Um, I really actually like this scent. It wasn't like a bad burning candle, but once again, I'm just trying to like get through things a little bit faster. And also, if you are not a fan of flames, like lamps really are a great way to go. And I will say the lamps that I have linked down below will melt a Homeworks candle. One thing that I've discovered is that um sometimes the wax seems to be different from candle to candle um there might be some slight variation in the formulation because some of them do melt completely all the way across and some of them do leave a little bit of residue on the side that you might have to take like an old butter knife or something and push that wax down so that it gets incorporated but it's soft enough to easily be able to do that so if you're finding that a homeworks candle is not melting completely just you know kind of push that stuff towards the center and it's, it's going to melt so and it releases the fragrance but it does not uh have the wax dissipate it the wax doesn't dissipate when you are not burning it so you're gonna have to pour it off and since we're here talking about this right now let me just kind of show you what i do with most of my scentsy wax and the wax specifically for my candle lamps so this might look familiar to those of you who shop with homeworks it's one of their like inserts in the boxes when the candles are delivered to you and what i do is i keep these and i stack like several together and then i will pour the wax in these and then use these as fire starters outside in our backyard I would recommend using and I also do this with candle crates from Bath and Body Works candle crates that I get with my Kringle candle deliveries those you have to cut up because you know they come in like big rectangles basically they're easy enough to cut up and um, basically then I double I stack those on top of each other you do want to make sure that you stack at least a couple together because the wax is quite warm and it will sometimes seep through the bottom. It didn't really here, but it, it has happened in the past. So basically that next layer of cardboard will just catch anything that goes through. Um, but what I do is whenever I'm ready to pour off some wax from one of my lamps <clears throat> is I get a paper towel, I put it on the kitchen counter, and then I take the candle which has that layer of wax melted and I literally just I pour it in here <laughs> and then I have like another paper towel just ready to go and I wipe off any excess that may have like dripped down the side while I was pouring it but yeah I literally just go boink empty that liquefied wax out clean up the side of the jar um, and then I pop it back underneath the lamp if I'm ready to like do another melting session You know, you can start right away. You don't have to wait for anything to harden up um, 
but uh, yeah, and then we use these as fire starters in our backyard. So what I wanna say is these, these have been great for me outside. Um, I fill them up about halfway. And honestly, I also just pop the, um, like you can see a paper towel here. It's kind of stuck in the wax right now. But I even pop the paper towels that I used to clean up the side of the jar into here because it's paper, so it's gonna burn. Um, and then uh, when Craig starts a fire, he just puts one of these on top of everything when he lights the fire. And this acts as basically a fire starter. It just amplifies the fire. <laughs> very quickly so I would not use something like this in an indoor fireplace um, I would make uh, like smaller fire starters maybe with some cotton balls or something um, it's a really great way to use your excess uh, wax so anyway that's what I do that's it like I just literally pour it into these cardboard containers that I get with my different candle orders and then I have a stack of these outside in the backyard in a big bin. And every night that we light a fire, we just pop one of these on there and she's good to go. So that is what I do. It's very easy. Can it be messy? Yeah, but I feel like, I don't know. I don't, maybe I've spilled like a little bit of wax, but again, I put down a paper towel. And so if I do, then it just goes on the paper towel and then I just, pop that into here and it just becomes part of the fire starter so it's not messy for me um but if you feel like you're clumsy maybe the lamp wouldn't be the best bet for you maybe you're more of a um maybe you're more of a like crock person the crocs melt everything at once and you don't pour off any wax so i don't know pick your poison <laughs> I think either one is is a great way to go to uh, get some home fragrance without the use of a flame and if you don't want to get into things like you know Scentsy or like the warmers from you know like that you can get from like Target, Better Homes and Gardens, all that kind of stuff. So all right uh, do I have any candles burning right now? I do. I actually just caught it out of the corner of my eye. Besides this one here <laughs> Across the way in the dining room, I have a cinnamon peach latte from Homeworks, which when I first saw the name of that one, I was like, mm, I don't know about that at all, but it does kind of work. It was like when, uh, was it last year or the year before, Homeworks came out with a like peach gingerbread fragrance, and I just was like, ugh, I don't, why? Like, why would you pair those? But when I started burning it, I was like, oh, that actually smells great. I find that, I don't know, sometimes I get judgy about fragrances like before I actually smell them and then I probably shouldn't because actually a lot of times they're really great. So anyway, that's burning in there. I will have an in-depth review of that coming up next week at some point. Um, there's still a lot of candles that I'm currently burning that um, you will see reviews of still in the coming weeks. Um, I'm I, honestly, you guys, I'm really late to getting to some of these holiday candle reviews and I feel bad about it, but um, life, work, just everything kind of got away from me and I just wasn't able to get stuff out as fast as I wanted to. I'm still gonna review all of these fragrances because for a lot of companies, they bring the same scents back um, every single year. And so even if you don't try or buy that candle this year, if you're interested in trying it next year, the review will be available for you to reference at that point. That's kind of what I'm viewing it as. So. Um, and then that is all that I have burning right now. I have one candle crock going. All the crocks upstairs have been off. Again, just because I've been kind of lazy. Um, not lazy, I've just been busy. Like it's been kind of a crazy month so far. So the one in the uh, downstairs um, laundry room, downstairs. I don't have more than one laundry room. I have one laundry room, it's downstairs. <laughs> Um, anyway, there is a very snowy spruce from the Mercury Glass Collection. It only had about this much wax left, but I decided to pop it in there because I've been saving those Mercury Glass candles, um, and it makes it really easy to pick up the wick clips when they uh, come out of a candle crock because the wick clips have loosened from the bottom, so I'm not like scratching the like the special finish or anything like that. Um, so yeah, anyway, and it smells so good in there because I have it going also with a, with a one, only one cube of Scentsy sugar cookie and mwah, that's a great combo. If you have both of those scents by any chance, try pairing them together. They're really good. Speaking of Scentsy, Lisa and I have another collab video coming out tomorrow. 
and it is our like favorite holiday fragrances from Scentsy and then we're also going to share our favorite holiday warmer so um, I hope you guys are excited about that if, if you're into Scentsy that's always a fun video for Lisa and I to do seasonally so we are still planning on doing that it'll go up tomorrow actually I need to film that after this video so yeah um, all right now I'm gonna start grabbing things that I have been burning over the course of the past week so I have two Lafco candles that I've been burning um, it is a tale of two candles that are misbehaving also there's a nice piece of glitter in this one I have no idea where the glitter came from but um, and there's also something else in this wax what is what is that is it a bug I don't I don't have bugs in it it can't be a bug that's not a bug no bugs exist right now in Oregon. It's way too rainy. We've had a ton of rain here. But anyway, <laughs> I hate to even show these because I do I do love the Lafco fragrances. They are they are very sophisticated. They're beautiful. These have pretty good strength and throw for being like a one wick. Um, but I really feel like they should have more wicks in this particular size of candle. The thing is, I don't know that they can because these are all hand blown glass. So I think they have to be mindful of, you know, how close the wicks are to the side of the jar, um, to not cause any like breakage or anything like that. But, um, anyway, the vessels are just, look at these. Oh, these are, these two are like neutral heaven. So this one here is their spiced pomander and that's how that's going. My wick it was incredibly off-center. You can see that right there when I just hold it straight on. It's a very off-center wick, and I think that that's the beef here. But a lot of you told me that no matter whether your wicks are centered or not, you get tunneling with Lafco candles, which is a disappointment, obviously, for the price point. Um, I'm going to pop these into candle crocs after they're all done. So I'm going to extract the fragrance from the wax that's like sticking to the side. Um, but that's not how I wanted to experience that particular candle. So that makes that a bummer. Um, I bought the, I bought both of these last year. Um, I didn't purchase any of the Lafco candles this holiday season, even though I was kind of tempted. Um, but this one here is Hazelnut Torone. This scent did not come back this year. This one's burning a little better, but you can also see that on the last burn, I started getting some weird tunneling. These are not in a breezy area. These have been sitting here in this room and we don't even like open our front door. Like well, Craig and I come in through the garage. We all come in through our garage, which is probably not great for the garage door springs, which we replace quite frequently because we treat it as our front door. Um, but yeah, so there's no like breeze in this area at all. Like the airflow is just, I wouldn't say it was stagnant, but there's, there's no like wind. <laughs> so this shouldn't be from like anything like that. I think it's just that sometimes they just don't get warm enough to pull out completely. And I think it's because they would probably really do better with an additional wick, but I just don't think it's possible with this glass is is what I'm thinking. So anyway, I still love the fragrances. I will still purchase from Lafco. What I might think about doing is purchasing one of their larger sizes next, like one of their multiple wick candles that are much bigger. Um, and maybe I'll have a better experience with that because that's definitely, that was my experience with the, did I bring it in here? Oh shoot, I didn't. Um, I have a one wick of the Velispa Gilt Pomander and Hinoki Candle. I've actually been burning that in the downstairs powder room for a few weeks and just have been forgetting to show you guys. It was a leftover from last year. But those Velispa one wicks are great for like the powder room, but I just don't get much from them um, otherwise, like especially in these more open concept areas of my house. That being said, their multiple wick candles, like their three wicks, and then the big hearth one that I showed you guys last weekend, which is on my kitchen counter. Sorry, it's it's so heavy, you guys. I didn't feel like dragging it in here for this video because I have this little guy, so. But these multiple wick candles from Velispa are worlds different, like just completely better in terms of strength and throw and just overall burn, I feel like. So multiple wicks, I think, might be the way to go with companies like Velispa and for Lafco, um, which is a little bit of a bummer because 
they're expensive they are expensive um you can definitely wait for sales um and you know a lot of them are sold at places like bloomingdale's or neiman marcus and a, a lot of times during the holidays those companies offer anywhere from 20 to 30 percent off sales so that might be the time to pick up some of these you know sizes at places like that so anyway i'm um, speaking of this noble for garland i've been burning that five wick in the kitchen this week and the three wick out here in the hallway and it scents the entire house i am talking upstairs i am talking downstairs between the five wick and the three wick the whole house is taken care of um, and it smells like a million bucks if you love a good tree scent Velispa noble for garland is mwah. I hope this comes back every year. I feel like this may have been a new scent for them this year. But Velispa, if you by any chance ever come across this video, please keep this scent in your collection. She is heaven. If you know more about Velispa, like I'm still somewhat new to them, so I don't know a lot of the history about, you know, their fragrances. But if you know if this has been released before or how they typically do their holiday releases, please fill me in in the description box down below. I realize I could probably look that up myself, but I don't have... The inclination to do that most days so <laughs> i just don't all right let's uh let's keep going by the way um i have been burning the nest birchwood pine and the nest holiday alongside the noble fir garland a number of times this week as well and that has been amazing these two candles actually came in a duo from um sephora this year i picked them up for 20 percent off during their sale in november uh but uh, I, th I think that set's still available. It's a pretty decent deal. The, the sale is over at Sephora, but maybe I can see if I can find that particular duo because there's a couple of other retailers that had it. I'll see if I can find it somewhere else on sale because it was a good deal. But Nest is kind of smart because they are off they often exclude themselves from certain sales with certain retailers. So you kind of have to pay full price. <laughs> Sneaky, but it works, I guess. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, this is a Homeworks ceramic that I purchased back in the summer. This is one of my Holy Grail scents from, um, from Homeworks. It is their season's greetings. Um, I really haven't purchased many of these ceramics from Homeworks in recent years, just because I kind of got over the ceramics myself personally. I prefer just the regular four wick candles because they just have such gorgeous labels and, um, yeah, they're just kind of easier to store. Like this, this is a pretty big piece, right? I'm totally going to keep this. I'm, I'm really into green this Christmas for some, for, well, I've been into green like for a while now, but, um, this just really appealed to me for some reason. Um, it's burning pretty darn good. The strength and throw of this one, I would say is not, it's, it doesn't have enough oomph for me to want to repurchase another one of these. It certainly fragrances the room that it's in, but it doesn't have the strength and the throw that the four wicks do. Again, it's a three wick, so um, I really do prefer four wicks from Homeworks, but this particular one I just thought was so pretty, and that gold bow on the top is stunning. I think this is still available. If it is, um, I'll definitely be linking this down below. If it's available at homeworks.shop, um, you can use my discount code to save an additional 15% on this. Um, Homeworks did increase our discount code for you guys, so um, yeah, it's 15% uh, now off of $40 or more instead of 10% off, so um, I thought that was very nice of them to, to increase that for you guys. Um, okay, so uh, sorry, I'm going to keep grabbing. <laughs> I might have to take a break here in a second because I hear Pen... Oh, she is. She's at the door. All right, hold please. All right, sorry about that um, dog duty calls, uh, but it did give me an opportunity to grab the gilt pomander and hinoki candle that I was mentioning. I set it on the kitchen counter because of course I did. Anyway, these are the one wick Veluspa candles that I'm talking about. Beautiful vessel, right? Like this is like um, textured glass and it has a mercury glass finish, which we all know how I feel about mercury glass. Um, but yeah, these are stunning. Um, it's a great scent. I don't think that I would ever want this particular scent in a like hearth size. It's it's a beautiful vessel, but I, I don't love the scent that much. <laughs> it's a nice scent, but it's probably a one and done for me personally. Um, however, but yeah, these one wick candles really don't give me much. Um, it's it's their multiple wick candles that really do it for me. But this is this is a lot of what you're paying for with Velispa is the containers themselves, which are absolute stunners. I mean, you cannot deny that these are not 
beautiful vessels, right? Um, and I'll definitely figure out a way to reuse this one for sure when I'm done. I just think it's so stunning, so pretty. Anyway, back to uh, back to Kringle, <laughs> which is where I was going next. Actually, I have some other Kringle candles on this side as well. Um, so I put up reviews of Kringle reindeer beer this week, as well as Kringle um, winter woods. Um, I have not burned the reindeer beer in the two wicks, only in the three wicks, and I've had a good performance in the three wicks. Um, apparently, I received a comment from uh, someone who mentioned that the three wicks are not throwing for them at all. Um, that's not my experience with these three wicks. If you are having trouble with your three wicks, will you let me know down below? That's definitely something that I would definitely want to pass along to Kringle if that is like a super common issue. Um, it hasn't been for me. I actually find the strength and throw of the Kringle three wicks to be the same as most of my Bath & Body Works candles on average, um, with a cleaner burn <laughs> than Bath & Body Works candles. But if you are having problems, will you let me know down below? Because if there's something that they need to fix, I know that Kringle is very proactive about reviewing the performance of their candles and fixing issues. So let me know. Anyway, reindeer beer smells exactly like A&W root beer to my nose. Um, my kid loves this scent. I'm not that passionate about it. Like it's definitely like a one and done for me. But um, yeah, my kid is just like, this is like the best smelling candle ever. She likes this candle more than mine. <laughs> but that's the kind of girl that she is. <laughs> She's like, I, I asked her, I was like, what do you think about mom's candle? And she was like, I think it smells nice, but I really like that, that root beer one better. So anyway, I can't. Man, there is nothing like a kid to put you in your place, let me tell you. Um, anyway, this Winter Woods was another one that I filmed a review of this week, so that is the inside of that one. I am now to the half point, half point with both of these, right? Yeah, that one's definitely halfway. This one has quite a bit of um, eucalyptus in it, and if you know me at all, or if you've been around my channel for any amount of time, you know that I'm kind of anti-eucalyptus, and it was just because of years of working with it as a florist. I'm just over eucalyptus. Um, but it's actually quite nice and a little bit more enjoyable in this one. So um, if you two maybe are a little bit iffy about eucalyptus, this might be a good one to check out. I feel like it is blended really nicely with some of these other notes. There's also mint in here. I think this is a great... Um, like January type fragrance. It's very fresh, very cool, very outdoorsy. Um, it just kind of reminds me of winter. So if you need something to get you through January and you don't really know maybe what to grab, I feel like this is a great option here. So there's that. I also think this one would be actually a good one for January as well. This is Tis the Season. Um, the scent profile on this one, I don't really personally care for, but I can see a lot of you who, again, like the fresher fragrances, really enjoying this one. And this one, the Tis the Season, as well as the Winter Woods, I think would make great January fragrances. Um, I've struggled a little bit with burning this one just because, like I said, the fragrance profile isn't really what I'm looking for for the holiday season. Um, but I am burning it so I can review it for you guys. So um, I wanna get a few more burns into this one. These are forming some pretty big mushroom tops on these um, holiday releases from Kringle for Country Candle. And so you definitely wanna like trim your wicks in between burns here. Don't trim the wicks too short, but definitely knock those mushroom tops off there. Um, because when you go to light one of these and you have those mushroom tops on there, you can, um, sometimes the little things can pop off when you take the flame to the wick. Um, I've had that happen before, and I actually, I can't remember what brand of candle it was, whether it was Homeworks or whether it was a Kringle or even a Bath & Body Works. Um, it may have even been like a candleberry, but I went to go light one of the candles without, like, the mushroom tops weren't huge, so I was like, I'm just gonna relight it. Well, the thing popped off, like one of those little like carbon balls, and it hit me in the lip, and because I had taken the, um, the lighter to it, it was, like it was hot, and it like burned a little hole in my lip, so, um, I mean, it healed pretty quickly, I was lucky, but that, that definitely reminded me like, you gotta take those 
a mushroom. Those mushroom tops need to go before you relight a candle. So um, anyway, there is, there's that. Um, here is uh, Kringle Christmas lights. All right, so I was talking about how I wanted to save this one for um, the week of Christmas. But I've just, I've just kept burning it. Like, I'm almost done with this. I am all the way down to, like, here at this point. Um, uh, it's just so good. I think this is truly, alongside um, uh, the Christmas, Christmas stroll, very snowy spruce, um, you know, those more like straightforward, like holiday tree or holiday wreath type fragrances, this falls in line with that. I think this is one of, like, the best. I just, I hope they keep this one around for next holiday season and just forever at this point. It's just a great staple and it's extremely well done. So definitely recommend that. Here I have a peppermint and hot cocoa. This again is another one of those scents where it just doesn't really float my boat. I don't know what my beef is with peppermint, but it's just never been my favorite. And as much as my nose is changing as I'm getting older, because it really is, there are things now that, um, I'm burning that in the past I would have never dreamed of like lighting up and enjoying but um, my body's going through some hormonal changes and um, it is causing my nose to uh, to change like it's I don't know how or why I think it has to do with hormones but there are things now that I used to love in the past and I'm just kind of like eh, I still kind of like it but I don't I don't look at a lot of my like favorites the way that I used to in the past, which is just so weird to me. I thought I would always be just exclusively a gourmand lover, um, but I'm starting to branch out and embrace a lot of different types of fragrances, and it's kind of nice, but it's it's weird. <laughs> like when you're used to only loving one type of scent your entire life, and then all of a sudden your body's like, hmm. Maybe you should try something different. Anyway, the one thing that I still can't get behind is peppermint. I just, I'm not a huge peppermint person, but as far as like a peppermint, like hot chocolate type scent, this one is a good one. So if you're looking for that, I think that peppermint hot, hot cocoa is gonna be a good one to check out for sure. Um, are these, I think all three of these are, no, that's not finished. Okay, here is a, um, this one got a little dirty on the last burn, but admittedly, I had this lit for like five hours, which is at least an hour and a half too long, um, but it's not terrible. There's just a little bit of like, you can see a little bit of like residue on the side of the wax there, um, but it's not completely discolored and there's no like sooting necessarily. It just burned too long. This is over the river and through the woods. This is one of my favorite scents. This is actually kind of a nutty gourmand type scent. Um, the fragrance notes on this one, I think are just completely off. I wouldn't pay attention to those. If you ever come across this one, it is a gourmand. It's not, it's not a fresh outdoorsy tree scent. So don't, don't let the label on that one confuse you for sure. Um, oh, here's the Father Christmas. This is another one of those where you can see I've actually burned quite a bit of this one. Um, this is another one of those scents where in the past, when there was a leather note in, um, in any of the fragrances that I uh, either purchased or received as PR, I would be like, no, nah, this just isn't me. It smells a little bit too masculine for my nose. It just smells maybe a little too earthy for me. Um, but I really like this white leather note and this Father Christmas. This is a fabulous scent. <laughs> I've really, really been enjoying it. And I know uh, there was actually at least one person that was like, I'm really surprised you like this scent. <laughs> but I am too. I am surprised because this is not, I did not expect that my tastes would ever change. But again, I think it's kind of a good thing. Just try new things, right? Like you might, you might surprise yourself. So, all right, um, is this one finished? Yes, okay, so I have three candles that I finished this week and they were all from homework, so good because this is the part of my collection that I'm looking to whittle down the most these days. I have a ton of homeworks backup candles. Um, back when homeworks was still exclusively at QVC, I would often buy multiple sets of the doubles or the trios and um you know there's only so many hours during the day that you can burn candles if you're doing it safely like you shouldn't be doing it while you're sleeping so plus it's probably not healthy um you should take a break every now and then from fragrance and i've been trying to do that like um at least a few days a month but um yeah where was i going with that story sorry i'm having a brain fart 
this is another thing that's fun about my hormones changing is I get this weird brain fog where I'm literally in the middle of a sentence and then it's like, it's just, it's gone. It's gone. If you're a woman in your 40s or your 50s or 60s, this is probably familiar to you. And if you're a man, you're like, what the hell is going on? Um, but if you're younger, man, do appreciate your brain cells now, young ladies in your 20s and 30s, because they do disappear rather quickly. Anyway, moral of the story here is this is Treetops Glisten. I don't think I've ever reviewed this. Um, I need to. Well, I finished it, so I don't, is it still worth reviewing? <laughs> this was another one of those candles where I was like, I really want to review this, but I'm, I don't think I'm ever going to get around to it. This one may still be available at QVC. Uh, I've seen a lot of these like Christmas and July candles kind of popping in as is periodically, but um, I, I like this scent. It's not one of my favorites from Homeworks. This one was for balsam pine needles, woodland cedar, and white snow musk. I think it's nice. Um, it definitely had like some warmth to it in terms of like the fragrance like profile. It, it smells like a warmer fragrance, but um, yeah, not necessarily my favorite. So anyway, the strength of throw was actually decent on this one. Not incredible, but you know, I could smell it, especially in a hurricane. Um, I put a lot of my homeworks candles in hurricanes. Um, that one goes upstairs. Um, I, I just, I think they tend to work better in a hurricane. So uh, Christmas morning, this was one that I didn't need to put in a hurricane, but when I did, it was certainly amplified a little bit. I loved Christmas morning. This reminded me of my mom's baked apples that she would make for us as a dessert when we were younger. Um, and so I finished that this week and um, I'm actually kind of bummed. <laughs> you can still find this one in a trio over on QVC with, I think it's garland berry as well as frozen balsam. So if you really want to try this one, you can get that one in the trio, but it's no longer available on its own at homeworks.shop. But it has been spotted at Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, um, maybe even Ross at this point. There's a lot of candles going to Ross as well these days. So keep an eye out there. You might be able to find it in one of those locations. So um, definitely worth picking up. I really, really like that one. And if I did run across it, out in the wild, I do think that I would probably choose to pick at least one up for next year. So I just really enjoyed it. It's a great scent. And then the last one is another one that I really liked and, a, and another good performer that I had from Homeworks, Felice Navidad. This is another one. I don't know what happened to the lid. That's actually a really good question. It's not here. Um, where's the lid? <laughs> No idea. Um, this is another one that you can get at, you know, like Ross, Marshalls, Home Goods, TJ Maxx. It has been spotted there, so it is worth picking out. Um, it's somewhat similar to the spiked eggnog without that like boozy type note. It's just kind of a nutty, creamy gourmand type scent. It's it's delicious. And I gotta say, sometimes a homeworks candle will literally like use every last drop of wax. And that was the case with this one. There is not a drop of wax really in the bottom of this one. It is wild. Sometimes there's a lot of wax and let's treetops glisten. So this one, this is more usual for me with homeworks candles where you still have that little layer at the bottom, but this one is like, there is nothing. <laughs> so I don't know what that happens. It's interesting, but yeah. I'm just so curious where this lid is now. I don't know. All right, you guys, let's talk wax melts. We've got pretty much exclusively Scentsy in here. I'm so excited for that video <clears throat> to share that with you guys tomorrow, by the way. So make sure you're subscribed and that should pop up in your subscription feed. Um, so very snowy spruce in brick format, which is massive. Here's a regular Scentsy bar. Here's a brick. The brick is the size of my head. Um, and I do have to say, I have a good sized head. So this is a large, this is a large bar, <laughs> bar of wax. Um, this year uh, with their, uh, their holiday collections, they also came out with the, uh, this is a brick in like a tree format. Is this the same amount of wax? Okay, so there's a little bit less. No, there's not. No, there is. Okay, so these tree ones are 15.3 fluid ounces. The These regular bricks here are 17 fluid ounces. So slightly less, but um, it's fine. I don't know. Anyway, this is Cozy Kitchen. I really like this one too. Um, but yeah, I did just notice that. <laughs> 
sugar cookie. Oh my gosh, you guys. So sugar cookie, I actually get for half price with my club deliveries. Um, I change out the scents with, you know, the different options they have, but sugar cookie is definitely my favorite. You guys, this one's so strong. Sometimes with the bricks from the, like, from the club selection, I find that they're a little bit weaker or they don't quite last as long as um, the regular bricks, you know, from, like, the regular lineup. Um, but this one here is a freaking powerhouse, so I don't know. Do you guys have that experience? Do you think that the bricks that are in the club aren't quite as highly fragranced? I mean, they still smell good, and for 12 bucks, they're definitely worth it, but I don't feel like they last quite as long, and I don't think that they have as much oomph as, like, the regular bricks do. So the club, um, the club packaging is also, well, no, it's not different. I was going to say it's different. It's not. It's not different at all. I mean, there's a different design, but yeah. So I don't know, man. Let me know your thoughts. <laughs> All right, what else do we have in here? We have Stroopwafel Delight, which is, she's a holy grail of mine, and she's in my club, so you can't really get this one right now. It's not currently available. This is, it smells exactly like a Stroopwafel. By the way, we already finished our Costco-sized box of Stroopwafels that I bought less than a month ago. That's embarrassing, but that's that's us <laughs> everyone that lives in this house has a sweet tooth it's really bad um but stroop waffles are um so they're two really thin waffle wafers and in the middle is a slight um like a really thin schmear of uh caramel i don't normally like caramel scents but this one because it has that waffle note is pure perfection if you can ever get your hands on a stroop waffle uh, delight from Scentsy, you should do that. I don't know where you would get it. Not for my collection. I'm not sharing. <laughs> but maybe, I don't know, maybe someone somewhere is selling it on like eBay or something. It's so delicious, you guys. They should come back with this. I don't know. Why do they do away with stuff that's good? They did the same with my beloved almond croissant and apples and oats. How dare they? <laughs> <laughs> All right, two more here. We have cranberry muffin. This was a bring back my bar. Probably not worth mentioning a whole lot about since, again, you can't get it. But if uh, if cranberry muffin ever comes back available for voting, you should vote for it. It's really good. I really regret not putting this in my club. Luckily, I did think to purchase a six pack of that before it went away with that particular bring back my bar, but still not the same. Um, happy birthday is also in my club, but I have like seven of these in my club. <laughs> To me, it smells like Funfetti birthday cake. To a lot of people, it smells like mar chocolate marble cake. Um, so there's that. And then I also went through a couple of these. This is Rob Pum Plum, which is really hard for me to say for some reason. But this is great. Um, if you thought that um, Sweet Plum Pastry had kind of a... Some people have said that it has like a slight smoky or almost... I heard a couple people say it smells like ashtray to them. If you get ashtray from Sweet Plum Pastry, but you're looking for a good plum scent, you got to check this out. This is... I'm going to put this in my club. I have to before it goes away. I think this is an absolutely incredible scent. It's also one that I feel like I would warm during other times of the year. I don't think it's... It's not specifically holiday. Plum scents are not specifically holiday for me. I actually enjoy them in the summer as well. But this one here is so good, you guys. This is worth putting in my club, I think. How do you guys feel about rum pum plum? I say that 10 times fast. And that's it, you guys. I have been talking your ears off for a while now. So uh, Alf and I are gonna go and we're gonna clean up this mess here and um, get to filming this Scentsy video. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let me know what you're burning and melting in the comments down below. And um, I appreciate you guys being here. Stay tuned for some more information about Vintage Pomander. I'm so excited for you to experience the amazing, the amazingness that is this particular fragrance. I mean, I don't want to like toot my own horn, but I think it's, I think it's pretty fabulous. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo. <laughs>